Hello, friends. We're back. So, I decided to pop on here with my makeup that's been on since 7 a.m. Since, also it's 8 p.m., just so you know. It's been 13 hours. We're doing well, right? I mean, not like well, but we're doing like okay. Uh, today, we are back with another little. We must do the big old hand gesture. <clears throat> Evolution of makeup. And today's going to be the Elizabethan era. So, Elizabethan Europe, most notable, Queen Elizabeth, if you will. And they had some makeup. Yeah, had some makeup. I was gonna do Italy and France, but I feel like to pinpoint the time, like I saw one fact of like 14 to 1500 Italy, France or something. Oh, my teeth are bad. I'll clean those before I come back on. It's fine. I had a wrap for dinner and it's like stuck between all these teeth. It's fine. Everything's fine. Having like a 14 to 1500 one fact between India and Elizabethan was kind of hard to like research so we're just gonna move on to Elizabethan Europe seems fine anyways I'd like you to grab your tickets grab your bags grab your passport grab your masks buckle up put your oxygen mask on before the others around you let's fly on over to Elizabethan Europe shall we we shall I'm still trying to make Revit work on my computer for work. It is now 8.08 p.m. and it's been an all day ordeal, okay? I have retried this installation. I have redone, I have re-downloaded, I have done it. I think this is try number six. So this time doesn't work. I might get really upset. Just be prepared. Okay. So Elizabethan. We have traditional modern. Now, there are photos of some examples of Elizabethan makeup that must be from movies of some kind. I'll put them on the screen. That must be from a movie over here. Then there's also obviously art, which is our favorite way to look at things. The art, which is also a great representation of Queen Elizabeth. However, let's start off strong with, I am going to prime my face just so my skin doesn't look awful because we are having some eczema issues. I don't remember me saying that. So although I don't believe they primed, I am definitely going to be doing it on myself for my skin's sake. Disregard the craziness that's about to happen, okay? We just need to keep our hair out of our face. And so this is what we're doing, okay? Everybody just calm down. Like, I know this doesn't look good. The point isn't to look good. It's to keep this stuff out of my face. So, <clears throat> I feel like I'm like slightly too tall for today, but I'm not gonna adjust my camera again because I have adjusted it twice. Adjusted it twice. Elizabethan era was from 1500 to 1600 roughly, yes. 1558 to 1603 the Elizabethan era. I am stuck on my blanket. So during this time makeup became increasingly more popular. So before that makeup, like stronger or more obvious makeup was considered to be, let's just say not okay. And they would prefer you to be naturally beautiful. So essentially like if you were obviously wearing makeup and obviously weren't naturally beautiful and that not acceptable. So the perfect woman in their eyes had light hair, like a blonde or a red, like a light red, pale white complexion, like white, and red cheeks and lips. There's also another kind of quote that I saw, which might have come from some form of literature from the time, that said, a small rosy mouth, a straight narrow nose, wide set bright eyes, under narrow arched brows was very desirable. That was like the perfect woman. 
So wealthy women were pale because they didn't have to work. Similar to last year, like in India, when I said that I had to do the caste system, same thing kind of goes for Elizabethan Europe. If you worked, you were outside in the sun, you got tan. If you didn't work, you were inside, and you were pale. So benefit for that is that we get to make ourselves white today. So I'm going to mix my normal foundation with just a little bit of my normal foundation with the white mixing medium that I used for Halloween. And the reason I'm mixing some of my foundation is that this is a mixing medium and I don't, it doesn't really have a great base. Let's make ourselves really pale. They also tend to, it looked like at least that they covered up their brows because their brows were always very white. So we're just gonna do our best here. I'm also gonna wipe using my makeup wipe half of this off because I have not had to use a foundation yet to make myself white. Now, the reason I'm using a foundation. They had a concoction, oh, I got, wipe my hair, called Venetian Ceruse, which was a lead-based cosmetic with hydroxide and carbonite. But it was like a paint and one, so that's why I'm using white based like foundation. One fact that I found said that these women would not really remove their makeup. And if they needed to touch up or add any more for any reason, they would just continue to paint layers on on top of the original without ever taking their makeup off, which if you know, anything about your pore skin, you know that is not ideal. I'm just gonna very gently set my whole face. My skin doesn't like that, but. Great, now we're just gonna take our little wipe. We are gonna wipe half of our face with Like, what is going on? Your head is real noisy tonight. In the background of all of the videos. It did work. Oh my god, guys. It worked! I love being IT Caitlin. Such a delight, really. How'd I do? Oh, we're right down the middle. That never happens here. Anyways, now that we digress from that finally working thing. Doctors would urge the woman to use makeup with tin ash or a loom because lead was really bad and everybody was having a lot of really bad effects from it. There were other bases that they would use to make themselves white. It wasn't always lead based, but that was more common. Things like talc, also not great, boiled white egg or other white products. So that was kind of interesting. The other thing I saw was that they would use uncooked eggs as like a glaze on top of their foundation to hide their wrinkles because they didn't want to look wrinkly. So they would apply like a glaze. So how my way of doing that is to just apply setting spray. Seems like the same thing, right? Seems similar. It's the best I can do. I don't have an egg white glaze for my face. So, Next, I'm going to move on to my red cheeks. So similar to last week, I'm gonna use this color because it's the darkest one I have. So the best I can do, use this the other day to do my, if you don't follow me on Instagram, at CaitlinDrowning underscore makeup. I did a KJH Academy, which if you don't know what that is, that is um, Katie Jane Hughes. She is a professional makeup artist and she does this thing every week where you can copy her makeup look and then tag her in it and hashtag KJH Academy and she will pick nine people and put them on her page because like she has half a million followers and she's amazing. So I did a draping technique that she did in her video and it was so fun and I loved it. Anyways, so another common product or mineral or that they used in makeup was mercury. 
So they used it to try and clear their skin imperfections like acne and wrinkles. However, they weren't clearing their problems. So they weren't like just, you know, clearing their acne and wrinkles. They essentially were creating a very toxic peel that would literally remove their skin and corrode flesh. So how'd they do on that front, you know? I also saw something about them like putting really bad stuff in their eyes to make them look more wide set, but like I wasn't gonna do that because that sounds dangerous, so I did not include that. This is me trying to make my red cheeks. How do I do? Oh, it's definitely red. You guys can see it. So they used expensive dyes like cochineal who knows how to say that, um, to redden their cheeks and their lips, but they would also use products like Matter and Vermilion, which are very common. I'm now gonna move on to my eyes, which I didn't pull something out for, and that was a mistake. I'm actually gonna use this. I feel like this is gonna be the most accurate. So they used ground mother of pearl on their eyes. I assume that was to make it more look more wide set. This I don't think is even gonna do the trick. Maybe this will. This is white enough. It's not really white. I'm gonna use this though. This is Lunch Money by Color Pop. It's not a ground like powder. It's more like a cream. So I'm hesitant, but I'm gonna put it on my eyes. So I believe that was their way of trying to make their eyes look more wide set by like brightening up their eyes, which I can show you a better method on this side to make your eyes look brighter, larger also a little wider. I also found a fact that similar to, what culture was it that I did? Remember, but they darken their eyelashes with coal. Um, instead of lining their eyes with it, they would just darken their eyelashes with it, which is what I'm gonna do today. Just trying to make my eyelashes look black. Okay, well I did my best there. Now I'm very quickly going to lighten my eyebrows. Off camera, we'll come back and do our lips, please hold. Okay, tried to make my brow look more arched and narrow by extending my tail. Like really arched and narrow. So now we're gonna apply our lip. So a small, rosy mouth. I'm gonna use a brush again. I think that's our best plan. So I'm actually taking a Maybelline liquid lipstick today. Super Stay Matte Ink. We are going to try and make our lips look pouty. So when making my lips look small, I'm trying to like really cut in at the corners and not do my full lip line. So I just tried to kind of, I didn't go down even on my full lip line. You can see some more here. I also tried to pull this in, like my lip line goes further out over here and I did pull it in give that like smaller rounder look the problem is they're not like super thin which is what I think they meant by small but I just kind of tried to mine a little bit so that's all I've got for my Elizabethan look which if my hair was crazy like curly and I had a big wig and some fancy things, I think I'd look pretty authentic, but now I'm going to go off camera, I'm going to do a lighter complexion on this side, not lighter, but like my real complexion, and then brighten with my concealer like I always do. I'm going to show you how to get like a wider set, larger looking eye. I'm not going to lighten my brow, I'm just going to fill it in the way I would, and I'll just fill in my red lips the way I would again. I'm going to try to keep it lighter with the eyeshadow over here, since this one doesn't have a ton but I will show you how to get like a brighter eye look. I'll also obviously have my mascara and some blush and bronzer, but I'll be back. Bye, BRB. Here's a closer look of our Elizabethan. What am I doing? I'm not sure. I feel Elizabethan, I don't know about you. I'm back. I have a friend. So if I'm looking behind the camera and I'm making weird faces because he's making fun of me, please ignore me. Great, now he's staring at me. Anyways, my modern day Elizabethan era look. So, 
hate that he's watching me. <laughs> In order to make my eyes look wider and further apart, I did a light cream shade on the top of my lid and really brought it up into my brow to kind of make it look like my crease color that I put in the little brown stopped about, I'd say halfway. So it really lightens it up. And then I also added a bright inner corner highlight as well as lightening up the lower lash line. I hate that he's staring at me right now because it just kind of makes your eyes look bigger and wider. And I also added a light nude on the waterline down here because that also makes your eyes look larger. So that way if I had both eyes, I mean, you can imagine that my eyes would be more wider set, which is what their preferred look was. I also did the red lip, I did some blush, I did bring the blush up a little higher just because of what they were doing. Filled in my brows per usual, and I tried to contour my nose pretty intensely, but I feel like it didn't do much, just because I liked a thin nose, but what are you gonna do? So, that's my modern day interpretation. Let's get these bad boys out of here so we look less psychotic. Great, so. What I am going to take from this week's evolution of makeup. Well, there's not really a lot that we brought into modern culture. They did make a white face paint, similar to a foundation, more inconsistency than we've seen so far, which is interesting. And also having the makeup be more popular is good because obviously nowadays, popularized makeup pretty intensely. As for the rest of it, it seems pretty typical with everything else going on, and we also definitely don't use merc mercury in our makeup, so that's good. So I guess that's all I have for you. This is my look, this is my interpretation, this is my face. Anyways. So, next week, if I look at my timeline, it looks like we will be talking about What comes next? Next is the Georgian and the Victorian era. So those are 1700s to 1800s and then 1800s to 1900s. We will see what we got going on there. If there's anything drastically different, if there's not, we might just briefly discuss and mix a few. We'll see what I feel like doing, what I decide. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. If you want to see more Evolution Makeup next week. Smash that like button. What a fucking loser. I can guarantee this whole video they can hear you screaming about Shushmaze and har, 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 the whole time. Because I could hear it like perfectly. Don't, I just, don't you want them to smash the like button? I want them to smash the like button. More like I want you to smash the subscribe button. Because that's what actually matters. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at CaitlinJolene underscore makeup. It'll be right here. I post roughly about twice a week, but every Monday I do an IG story tutorial, so you get to see a nice little makeup look on there with some chill background music. We have casual little hangout time. It's great for me, personally. I just can't put makeup on YouTube. I'm makeup. Can't put music on YouTube. So that's the fun one, where I get to hang out and listen to fun music. And I also have a TikTok, CaitlinJolene14. Not a lot of makeup on there, but maybe someday. I don't know. Other than that, I'll see you all next week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. I freaking hate that he's in here. This is our somebody help SOS.